All right, so we're inside my computer. Let's get straight into it. So what you're going to get is all 15 of these scales. And in each scale folder, everything's nicely organized into 12 keys. And in each key, you get the bass scale, 20 chord progressions, all these individual chords, 10 monophonic melodies, and 10 polyphonic melodies. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, start previewing the stuff. So let's uh, start with maybe the flamenco scale. Let's go here. Let's go to maybe F and let's start off with a polyphonic melody. So let's pick this one. Let's drag it in onto here and have some drum loops loaded up just to make stuff a little bit more interesting. So let's hear how it sounds. Now let's grab a chord progression, maybe this one. Let's drag that in right there. Uh, let's mute that. So as you can see, it's really capturing that flamenco sound just because of the notes that it's using, the patterns. Uh, so this is why this is so cool. And on top of that, what you can do is the reason why we have poly and mono melodies is the mono melodies are specifically designed to layer on top of the chord progression. So what you can do is put a progression in, put a mono melody, and it'll always sound good as long as you're using the same key. By the way, we're gonna go through eight of these scales. So we're gonna preview just a couple from each scale. So, you know, this doesn't take hours, uh, but yeah, hopefully you can see how powerful this is and, you know, get a good idea of how it'll be when you use it. So uh, let's move on to Dorian now. So let's go ahead and let's load up a polyphonic melody. Let's go to, let's see, Dorian. This is also known as medieval. Let's go to maybe F sharp. And let's go to the melodies, polyphonic. Um, let's pick this one and let's drag that in and see how it sounds. So you see right there, we got a completely different vibe from the flamenco vibe that we had before, just because of this new scale. And let's go ahead and pick out a chord progression. And also, by the way, I'm uh, trying to mix up the genres here to give you a wide sampling, you know, in terms of the drum loops, the sounds, etc. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just pick progression number one. Let's put that in and let's see how it sounds. Uh, by the way, even the polyphonic melodies can uh, sound amazing with the progressions as well. So let's see how this sounds. Let's top it off by trying out a mono melody. So let's just grab the first one here. Let's put that in. All right, cool. So let's move on to harmonic minor. This is one of my favorites. Um, I actually like a lot of these, but this is this is really cool for that like exotic sound. So uh, let's go ahead and open up harmonic minor. So let's go here. This is also known as the Baroque scale. So let's jump into C sharp minor maybe. Let's start off with a chord progression. So yeah, we can just pick this one here and let's check this out. And uh, let's try layering up a mono melody on top of that. So let's put this in and see how it sounds.
yeah that sounds super exotic super middle eastern um so now let's let's try a polyphonic melody as well from this category so let's drag this in actually put that mono melody we had it'll probably work all right cool so let's move on to the next one this is double harmonic so let's open up the double harmonic scale also known as the byzantine scale so let's go ahead open up uh let's work in c and let's go ahead and pick one of these poly melodies. So let's drag this in right here and see how it sounds. So yeah, again, completely different vibe. Each one of these scales, just because of the notes that they use, the chords, the melodies, the rhythms, will give your music a totally different feel. And all you gotta do is go in and see what you like. Um, and we haven't even actually touched the individual chords yet. Um, I'll show you how to use those in just a second. So let's go ahead and drag in a progression over here. So let's drag in this progression here and let's see how this sounds first. All right, so for the individual chords, here's how you can use them. So the pre-made chord progressions will sound amazing right off the bat, but what you can do with the individual chords is either use them to kind of customize existing uh, chord progressions, you know, to adjust them like this by using proven chords in the scale because we've laid them all out for you. You can kind of replace them like that. So let's check this out. Uh, and the other way is just to, you know, straight up just build your own progressions. You can adjust the length of notes, uh, whatever you want. So you can kind of just build infinite amount of chord progressions like that. Um, so let's go ahead and try a monophonic melody in the scale right now. So let's check this out. Let's drag that in and see how it sounds. sweet let's move on to jazz minor now now this is another one of my favorites so let's check this out right here let's go to jazz minor which is also known as minor six diminished we put these more like relatable names in brackets for the scales because you know sometimes like if you're looking at this stuff it can be hard to remember or get a vibe for what it's going to be so yeah that's why we put stuff you know flamenco and it's all completely accurate in terms of the music that these scales are used in so let's go ahead and open up uh, c minor in here and let's uh let's start off with a polyphonic melody so let's just drag this in right here all right cool so that was a polyphonic melody now we can go ahead and pick a chord progression let's go for like uh one of the last ones this time so let's go ahead and drag that in cool and we can also drag in a monophonic melody on top of that so let's try this one All right, sweet. So let's move on to the next one. This is more of a standard scale, the natural minor Aeolian scale, but I wanted to throw it in here to show you anyways, um, you know, because this is a standard scale, but you know, the chord progressions, melodies in here are super catchy. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into the Aeolian scale. Uh, D minor is actually one of my favorite keys. So let's work in that. 
And let's go ahead and start off with a polyphonic melody. So let's drag this in right here uh, onto here and see how it sounds. Let's actually try layering that with a, um, a mono melody. So let's try this one. So just in case, here's the, the melody we just put soloed so you can hear better. All right, cool. Let's try a progression as well. So let's go ahead and open this. Uh, let's pick number two here and let's check this out. Sweet. Now let's move on to Spanish. Uh, I know I keep saying all of these are my favorite, but this this Spanish scale is some really cool stuff. So uh, let's check this out. So let's go into Spanish, also known as Phrygian. Let's maybe try E flat for this one. And let's go ahead and start off with a mono melody this time. So let's go ahead and drag in. Um, let's try this one. So let's see how this sounds. Let's layer that up with a chord progression. So let's check this out. Let's grab maybe number 18 here. So immediately just based on, you know, those specific exotic notes used, you're getting those nice Spanish vibes. Um, all right, so let's try a polyphonic melody as well. So let's go into melodies and let's try this one called Life Spark. Uh, let's mute the progression for now. Let's check it out. All right, sweet. Last but not least, let's check out some blues stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and check out blues. This is also known as minor pentatonic. So first we're gonna check out a mono melody. Let's go into a key we didn't use yet, maybe like A flat minor. So let's check this out. Let's go to melodies, let's go to mono and let's pick out one of these. <laughs> All right, and let's layer a chord progression on top of that as well. So let's try this one here. Sweet, let's try a polyphonic melody as well. So let's go here, let's go to polyphonic and let's try the last one here. Let's put it here and mute the progression. Now let's see how this sounds. All right, so hopefully by following along, you've gotten the chance to see how powerful the Unison Advanced Scales MIDI Blueprint really is. We literally just scratched the surface on eight of the scales, checking out maybe one or two chord progressions and melodies. Uh, remember, there's hundreds per key, per scale, uh, and there's 15 scales, so there's seven that we didn't even talk about. And those, I'm gonna tell you, there's some that are really crazy in there. So if you wanna take your music to the next level, as you can see, you know, you can create different vibes in your tracks, you can, you know, trigger different emotions, make your music sound unique in any genre. 
uh, click the button below to grab your copy. The price is super low for limited time for this initial launch. So if you're seeing this video, it means you still can get this price. But when the timer runs out, it's going to be too late. So yeah, go ahead, click the button below, grab your copy, 60 day money back guarantee. Got nothing to lose and everything to gain. So this has been Sep from Unison. Thanks for watching. And I hope to hear the amazing music you create using these advanced scales, melodies, chords, and progressions.